Through the darkness, you hear a sound. A laughing almost? What would be laughing in a place like this? Heading past down the first ritual circle, which lets you know what to expect from this place. You find the sources of this weird laughing sound, and you see a maneba, a creature of the moon god rare, matching the sigil you had just seen. These off-putting creatures appear to be giggling jellyfish made of burlap sack, floating in the air with its tendrils hanging and whipping, looking like a child's first failed attempt at making a doll. You see several of them blocking the narrow hallways of the second level. Individually, they're not too tough, but they can chip away at your health and plant worms inside you that will make you feel hungrier faster. Most unsettling of all is that if you attempt to speak with them, you realize they can communicate with you telepathically, letting you know that they are not natural of this world and signaling to you what oddities the dungeon has in store for you. The thought of glimpsing into the minds of these creatures makes you yearn for the ignorance of the world you had just a few days ago.